Bobo, no. this is your new boss. His name is Mr. Aruna Kabunda. I'm sorry, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I don't say you and me boss. It's okay. Just go back to your duty post. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, uh, Mr. Aruna. These are the keys to the house. Okay, thank you. And this is the key to your new car. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. I should be on my way to the office. No, won't you come inside at least? Oh no, thank you, sir. Maybe next time. I still have a few things to put in place before you commence work on Monday. It's all right, but then I need you to do one more thing for me. Okay, sir. What is that? I would appreciate if you stopped addressing me as sir. My name is Aruna. <laughs> I am sorry, sir. That wouldn't be possible. Because the company cannot afford such a luxury for us to accord our superiors by their name. I don't want to lose my job. I insist. Okay, sir. Hmm? <laughs> okay. Uh, <nah>. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome, sir. All right. <laughs> What do you want from me this time? Ha! Ah, Awa! I don't suffer. See this small Awa of yesterday asking three senior boys in the area what we want. Ha! Ah, Emma! I don't suffer. Awa! So you know even get mine tell Ado we. Tell Ado who? You people, who are you? Just get out of my way. Awa. I swear, we go show you say that we the wrong things now this time. Ona no fit do anything. Kaka belay them like Ona. Go sit down at the football. Awa. I believe in love at first sight. He's every woman's dream, gosh. Handsome, intelligent, soft spoken, oh, charming. Oh my gosh. The list goes on and on and on. I think I'm in love with him already. I know he felt same. 
Otherwise, he wouldn't have asked me not to address him as sir. But I must not rely on that. I have to make a move. Yes, I have to. Yes? On my way. Company's policy. <laughs> <laughs> you just won't give up. No. Anyways, the GM told me you'll be sending some files from the Africa Limited to my office. So, uh, speaking of, where is my office, anyways? <laughs> um, this is your office. Really? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> about, about the files, here it is. Okay, thank you. Thank you. you're here. The goddess of the mirror revealed things to me before they are being said. what you want him to do. Call his name three times and it shall be done as your heart desires. From this day has fought. You shall be mine. I shall be the only woman in your world. You shall do anything I ask you to do. You shall love me until I call it a quit. So Aruna! 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 Humble servant, this mystery. Oh. 
Jesus. Ella. Ella. Oh, oh my God. Wow. What are you doing here? I should be asking you that question. I work here. What are you doing here? Okay, I came here to see my elder sister. She worked here. Your sister? Mm-hmm. Amma. I'm a Kaba. Amma is your sister? Yes. Oh my god, what a small world. <laughs> um, I'm here to tell her how the interview here went. I hope you got the job. Um, I'd rather keep that answer for her. <laughs> Anyways, I haven't seen Amma in the office all day. I don't, I'm not sure she came to work today. Have you tried calling her? Yes, I, I've tried calling her. Her number is switched off. I don't know. You know what? I'll just maybe go home and wait for her. I guess you should. I mean, that means let me drop you off at home. Um, I don't think that will be necessary. Thank you so much. Let me worry about that. I insist. You should be working. I insist. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> what condition? What condition is that? No problem with that. <laughs> All right, I I can go. It's almost a year now since you ran away from me. What happened? I did not run away from you. Which man in his right senses would run away from an angel like you? Then what happened? I... It's a long story. Aruna, I have all the time in the world to listen to this long story of yours. I didn't run away from you. I ran away from myself. I mean... I was becoming a burden to you. Depending on you for my every need. I, 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 I couldn't just bear it. I couldn't, I couldn't keep on being a pest in your life. Honestly, I just had to go. But I wasn't complaining. You weren't complaining, but I wasn't comfortable. It's as if I... I don't know. I, I just couldn't bear it. I was ashamed of myself. Plus, you weren't earning much yourself. You were just trying to squeeze out the little you had in your allowance to, to make sure I was okay. I needed to go one person. That was so selfish of you, Aruna. Do you know what I had to pass through when I discovered your disappearance? Have you seen him? Aruna left this morning. Left? Yes. To where? I don't know. He came this morning and dropped his key to my father. And he said he was traveling and he won't be coming back. <laughs> traveling to where? I don't know. Are, are you sure? Yes. He, he could he have gone to... Uh, he knows I'll be coming today and travel to where? Mama, he's gone. He's gone. Who is gone? Karuna. Oh, the woman that you said that uh, read abroad? Yes. Why? Did he tell you he was going somewhere? No, no, that's why I'm angry. That's why I'm not feeling okay. He did not tell me where he was going to. He just left this morning without even informing me. Oh, oh. Is that why you are like that? No. Calm down. He will come back. Just give him some time, okay? Mama, I will never forgive Arena. He's so ungrateful. He's, he's, he's so selfish. How could he do this to me? Will you shut up? Why are you talking down on somebody like that? They raise you like that. You had a reason for leaving, brother. Or you had an emergency. Give him some time, he will come back. You will not forgive him, that's too harsh. I will never forgive him. No. Don't ever say that. That is too harsh a word to say. 
does he ever do to you that you say you will not forgive him? He does not speak like that again. It's like someone is in love with Mr. Mysterious. <laughs> Coward, will you shut up? Hey! What do you know about this? Coward, eh? If I use the anger and frustration in me to pounce on you and you will not like yourself, you know how it is now, you will not like yourself. You know now, you will not like yourself. You better hold your mouth too. Oh. Hold that your tiny mouth. Calm down. Eh, eh, but Sister Ella admitted, are you not in love with the mysterious man? That's why you're upset, eh? Mama, have you seen her? Calm down. Mama, have you seen her? So you want to hit me too? Mama, have I you heard. seen her? You, you slap her, you hit my Mama, head. have you... Mama, excuse me. <laughs> Um, I came back early and I came to your room. I saw you were sleeping, so I didn't want to bother. Oh, I was having a little headache, so I started to rest it off. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I hope you feel much better. Oh, yes, I'm fine now. Yes, I am. Um, I'm alright. Take. What's this? Read it. You got the job? Yes, I did. Oh, <laughs> come here, come here, come here. I am so happy. Goodness. Thank you so much. You know what? We will celebrate this once I return. All right. Okay? Okay, I'm going to wait. wait. Um, you know, I went to your office to bring this exciting news to you. Okay. But I didn't see you there, so I bumped into Aruna. Aruna? Who is Aruna? Oh, Aruna Kabunda. Yes. My new boss. Boss? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I... Anyway, <laughs> when we had a little conversation, so he insisted he would drop me home, which he did. And, um... Uh, you know what, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, we'll talk about this one about, okay? Because I'm running late. Don't you want to get the full juice? No, just send me for another time, please, okay? I'll see you in the back. Okay. Right. Ella Kaba, a banker. How is that possible? Ba Ella Kaba. Ella, Ella. I don't know. Ella Kaba, the girl I told you about some time ago now. Okay, okay, okay. The girl you told me you ran away from that very day. Exactly. And what about her? I bumped into her today at my office. Are you serious? I'm telling you, I didn't know. She came to see her sister Amma. And I offered to ride her home. And for the very first time as we were driving home, I summon the courage to talk to her about how I feel about sharp guy. <laughs> the sharpest guy. So tell me. What was her response? She didn't say anything. Moreover, her expression did not betray any kind of feeling. She was just blank. Well, do not bother yourself, my brother. You see, women, whenever they feel speechless and expressionless in situations as yours, it's only speak one thing. Which is? That they feel the same way you are feeling. Hey! Dr. <laughs> Tijan, the love specialist. You can say that again. Dr. <laughs> Tijan, the love specialist. Oh, I love the sound of it. <laughs> Aruna, just say it one more time. You are, you are mad. For the very last time, you are mad. <laughs> so, on a more serious note, when are you seeing her again? Honestly, I don't know. Hey! You... She... Ma, 
mother of the mirror. I left a very important meeting I have with someone just to be here again this night. Daughter of the mirror, trouble not your heart. He has virtually no feelings for your sister. She was only trying to be a gentleman. Now, stretch forth your left hand. substance into his drink. Once he drinks of it, he will think of no other woman but you. That same night, he will call you to profess his love for you. Are you um, leaving without giving me the money I asked for last night? Money? Which one is money? Remember I begged you to give me money to uh, buy uh, things. Ella, well, let me ask you, okay? Am I your boyfriend? Oh yes, because whenever you want to buy a recharge card, you ask me for money. If you want to buy sanitary parts, you ask me for money. Get yourself a boyfriend. Spread your ties and then we talk, don't give your money. Excuse me. Ama, how could you? I I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean it that way. I'm sorry. Just forget it. I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 Something is definitely off about her. But what could that be? the company's assistant on an errand and I know she brings you a cup of coffee every morning. So I thought it was to bring it myself. Uh, oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. But henceforth, please do not stress yourself to do this anymore. I mean, there's someone employed and paid for this, you know. Oh, sorry. Hey, did I tell you I wasn't going to take it? No. Just the way I like it. <laughs> You go get me the pies from JJ Petroleum. Right. 
Is anything bothering you? Because I noticed that since you came back from work, you've been looking at your phone. What is it? condition is gradually turning to something else. She is filled with anger towards me. Or maybe it's just my imagination. This morning, she insulted me and this night, she yelled at me. What is going on? With this type of mood she is in now, I don't think I have the guts to tell her that I will be having a dinner date with Aruna, her boss, tomorrow evening. That will be adding salt to injury. From generation to generation. My son, you're welcome. Thank you, Mama. Uh, Mama. Mm -hmm. This is Aruna and hey. his best friend Tijan. Tijan, Aruna, uh, meet my mother, Mrs. Yama Kaba. Good to meet you, Mama. <laughs> my pleasure, my son. Uh, I've heard a lot of beautiful things about you. Really? Yes, and I praise <laughs> God we finally meet today. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. I heard very lovely things about you, too. <laughs> uh, this is my sister, my younger sister, Hawa. Um, Uncle Aruna, Uncle Tijan, you're welcome. Thank you, Hawa. Thanks, dear. Uh, you're welcome once more. Thank you, Mama. So allow me now to get you something nice to eat. Ah, no, don't worry yourself, Mama. We're fine. Right? No, oh yes, oh yes, we are fine. And you expect me to accept that you're no? <laughs> In this house, there is no no. Everything is yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't want to bother you, Mama. We are fine, honestly. I'm not complaining. I just want to get something to eat because we are lovable people. <laughs> and you will enjoy it, trust me. <laughs> okay, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Was I such a wonderful woman? Yes, I told you. <laughs> Don't worry, she's bringing something sumptuous. I don't know how much time I still have left in this world, but I want to spend every minute of it with you. I don't know. What's going on? You're scaring me. See, I... What's going on? <laughs> You will? Yes, I will. Thank you so much. You scared me. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Oh made my God. day. You have made me the happiest man on earth today. Oh my Thank God. you. <laughs> Tell me, why 
Why are you so joyful? Guess what? Come on, say it. What is it? Guess! Guess what? What? Guess now! Okay. You're going shopping. No. You've gotten your dream car. Way more than that. Oh my God! <laughs> come here, come here, come here! This is gold. Thank you so much. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who is this mysterious man that I have not met? It's um. It's. <laughs> What do you mean it's uh, um, it's uh, uh, do I know him? Yes. No. I'm um, sorry, I, I mean yes. It's Aruna. Which Aruna? Aruna Kabunda. This is unbelievable! So you have been dating Aruna all this while and you never deemed it fit to let me know. What did you take me for? The evil sister? No. No. Helen, I should be happy for you, but honestly, I'm disappointed. Amma, Amma, please, I'm, I'm very sorry. I didn't want to hurt your feelings knowing that I was going out with your boss. I'm sorry, please. Oh, oh please, Ella. We are sisters and not rivals. I can handle whatever you throw at me. Amma, please. I'm sorry. Oh my please, I'm sorry. I've known Aruna for over three years, but we were friends for a few months. He disappeared and after ten months I met him at your office. Please, I wanted to tell you the same day I met him, but you were in a hurry. I don't know, I think you were running off to somewhere, I don't know. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay, get up, get up. You, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not so upset per se, but I just feel disappointed that you didn't carry me along. But listen, congratulations. So, am I forgiven? Of course, you're forgiving. Come on, Ella. That's it. You know what? I think this calls for celebration. So, you go up there, freshen up, change into something super hot. Because I'm taking you out tonight. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Talk about it. No. It's a blush digger that in the water. So, you want to get married before me so that you can become the heart. Pride of the family. All right. Let's see how that goes. This is serious. This is so serious. Hey. Let's go in.
King Aruna Kabunda. Queen Salmatu Kabunda. The head of chiefs. I greet you all. A couple of years ago, I left this palace on a mission to find a wife. I'm glad to let you all know now that that mission is a success. But before I proceed, I'd like to introduce my friend here, Tijan Husseini. He has been a very great ally and brother to me and helped me through different difficult times. Tijan, King Aruna Kabunda Sr. Queen Salmatu Kabunda and the Head of Chiefs. Obai, I greet you. Majesty. I salute you. Head of Chiefs, I greet you, sir. You're welcome. And now to the reason I'm here, the success of my mission. Let me introduce to you Miss Ella Kaba, my woman, the woman who means the whole world to me, the woman who has captured my heart, spirit, soul, and body, the one whose presence makes me happy and smiling all the time. The woman I want to make my wife. Ella, meet King Aruna Kabunda Senior, my father. Queen Salmatu Kabunda, my mother. And the head of chiefs. And my humble self, Prince Aruna Kabunda Jr., the crown prince of and the Yama Kingdom. Relationship. Sorry, I just want you to listen to no. me. No. Do you think I was after your money or some stupid royalty? No, not at all. I didn't tell you who I was, not because I didn't I I, I, I didn't have to. But but because listen, I hid it from everybody, not just you. Even my friend Tijan here did not know. Hey. 
If I told you who I was, I probably would have died. You're already dead to me. Yes, you are already dead to me. Don't be dead. Ella, Ella, Get your question off me. Ella. Get your question off me. Okay, can, can, can we just go inside? I'll take you home tomorrow. Please. Please calm down. I know what you are going through. With all due respect, man, you don't. Aruna here treated me as if I was some gold digger. After our relationship of like four years, if you were in my shoes, wouldn't you react the same way I am? I would have done the same or even worse. Some 30 years ago, I was in the same shoe as you when I met my husband, the king. Seriously? Yes. But first, you have to follow me and go in. When we are inside, we'll tell you the full story as to why Aruna here concealed his true identity. Then, the decision will be yours, either to stay or to leave. Let's just go back to the palace. You, you'll understand everything. I, I, I don't know. I just have to call my mom. I have what? to speak to her. Welcomed you and promised to explain everything to you. Just give them that chance. Yes, I believe the explanation will throw more light into your questions. No, now. Don't do anything in a haste. You might end up regretting it as always. Relax. Just calm down. Everything is fine. Listen, take it easy on Haruna, okay? Alright, I'll talk to you again. Bye. Mama, this is unbelievable. Haruna is a prince. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, that was what she said. Do you know what, Mama? What? I knew Aruna was hiding something, but I couldn't place my hands on whatever it was. Mama, what are you doing? How do you mean? Alright. Tell me, how can someone from a poor family background afford to study in Harvard Business School and then come back to this country? in search of job after his studies. Think about it. Mama, a common diploma in Harvard Business School is already a big man. Not to talk of someone with masters in business administration, MBA in Harvard Business School. Choose scholarship if you are brilliant. Oh, please, forget that. Poor people do not get such scholarships. Aren't you brilliant? I am. Why have you not been given scholarship? Or even a federal financial aid? I don't know. Good. Did you hear it? Mama? One year school fees in Harvard Business School can feed the entire community and even renovate all the old houses we have here. Hmm? It's a lie. This one you just said now is a big lie. Oh. It cannot do that because I live in this community. I know how much we spend to build our houses. Uh, anyway, Ella said she's not interested in marrying the prince, let alone the marriage. But I believe the parent's explanation may have changed her mind. But now, in the interim, she said she is not interested. Hey. So we can rest now. 
Mama, I, I need to be going to my office because I have some document to submit to my MD. Ah, sister, today is Saturday. I thought you people don't work on Saturdays. You're correct. We don't work on Saturdays, only on emergencies. And this one is a very important one. I need to get going. Oh? I, I thought we were spending the entire weekend with you. Don't worry. I'll come back once I submit these documents. My job is on the line. I'll see you when I'm back. Okay, sister. Bye bye. Wait to you now. Please stay put. It is important we see tonight. I'll be with you in the next three hours. This is so serious. We all here are conversant with the customs and traditions of Tambiama Kingdom. Except, of course. Our future princess, Ella, and Tijan. It all started many generations ago when King Kabunda I lost his wife during child labor. He vowed never to remarry until 10 years later. He broke his vow out of loneliness and married a very beautiful woman. My king and my husband. This is my elder brother, Brimer, the one I told you about. Ah, the one you said is living in the West? Yes, sir. Oh, beautiful. You are welcome, young man. Thank you, my king. Thank you. Hey, that's good. You can take them down. Thank you, Your Highness. He treated him well because of his claim to be the brother to the wife. Until seven months later, on that blessed and fateful day, Anybody here? Brema, are you there? Brema, wow! This is abomination. Guards, go in there, get them arrested. Bring them out. Ah! This is abomination. That never happened in this land. That never happened in this kingdom. Match them up. My king, nothing After the king and his chiefs consulted the gods to find out the consequences of such an abomination, they decreed that the queen and the claimed brother to the queen be killed in order to appease the land that they have desecrated. You and only you 
have the power to delay her punishment until she delivers the child in her womb. My king, I know I deserve whatever punishment that befalls me. But please, have mercy on a poor innocent child, my king. Shut up! What mercy are you asking for? What mercy? That child you are carrying in your womb is not my child! No, my king! My king, the child is yours! I was already pregnant before Brahma came in. Liar! Liar! Mad peace of the God! What are we still waiting for? Let's proceed with the appeasement. My king! Please. My king! My king, please. So shall it be. Head and other parts of your body to decorate the four corners of the kingdom. Please, my king. This will serve as a warning to any other person please. that will commit this kind of sacrilege in this kingdom. Please, my king, please, please. <laughs> I am Azora, keeper of pure souls. The power you possess is beneath me. Your gods are inferior to me. King Kabonda the first, I am not against your custom and tradition. I wouldn't have been involved in this if not that you savagely buried alive an innocent child. A child with a pure soul in its mother's womb. The child was mine. Yes, the child belongs to you. But your anger and quest for vengeance beclouded your sense of reasoning. You were too hasty for retribution. 
you bottled up the souls of the child and mother and sent them to the underworld. And for that singular act of wickedness, I curse this land. And henceforth, no woman of this land shall have the privilege to give birth to a royal. And when it is time for the prince to get married, he must turn into a land far away from here, where he will live a normal life. He must not disclose his identity. He must take a job, and most importantly, take a wife. This shall continue until you, for generations to come, decide to make the wrong right again. And what happens if we fail to do that? Untimely death will befall this kingdom. And if the prince reveals his identity to get a favor, he shall die. What if he's under a love spell? No love spell, no potion or any poison, be it physical or spiritual, shall have any effect on the prince of Tambiama kingdom. You just told me earlier that I and my generations will suffer the same fate if we fail to right the wrong. King Kabunda I, free the soul of that innocent child from that bottle, even if it means freeing the soul of its mother. How is that possible? It is a possibility. You can ask your gods to help you free them. Or better still, send someone to the underworld. Someone who will encounter formidable evil forces to free those souls from the trap bottle. That person must be a pure soul and must be dead. Who is a pure soul? A pure soul is one without blemish. One who has the interest of the people at heart. One who is willing to embark on a journey to the underworld to free the trap soul. He or she must be dead and must be a virgin. Zuna. The next morning, the king, the chief priest, and the chiefs went to the shrine to beg the gods in order to release the trapped souls. But the gods were silent. The eldest son of the king disobeyed the words of Azora and married his childhood friend. The next day, he was found dead. The youngest son obeyed and went to far away land to look for his wife. Unfortunately, he disclosed his identity as the prince of Tambiama kingdom before the girl fell in love with him. The next day, he was found dead. On the death of King Kabunda the first, the kingship moved to his younger brother, King Kabunda the second. This cause continued for generations, including Aruna. As a noble king, I am not supposed to kneel down before anyone. But here I am, not as a king, but an ordinary man. Because of the love my son has for you. Your Majesty, please don't. I really want you to kneel down before you. I won't let you do. I'm not worthy of it. Aruna, I forgive you. You do? Yes. yes. Okay. If I were in your shoes, I'll do the same thing. Come 
Arona is a prince? Yes. He's a prince. A very rich one at that. Or as you call it, unfolded. But that's the truth. But how could I not have seen this? How could I have missed it? This explains exactly why all my spells and love potions had no effect on him. Now, I agree that there's a higher force protecting him. Mama Mia, what are we going to do now? Because I am not going to allow that ungrateful thing outshine me and take away what rightfully belongs to me. No. No. I would. I must always be on top. Right. Then, we forget about Rona for now. And deal with your so-called sister. How do you mean? That union must not succeed. Exactly. That will be all my dead body. I cannot even begin to imagine the shame I would face should I allow that ingrate to marry a man like Aruna. No way. If I cannot have him, then she must not have him. Sorry, Aruna, um, my prince, I'm, I'm sorry. Can you stop with this, my prince, my prince talk? You know me too well for that, please. We are closer than this. But I've always been Aruna and I'll remain Aruna. Aruna, Ar Ar I... See, sorry. there are no buts, okay? No buts at all. I just want to apologize to you for not letting you know who I was earlier on, for hiding all this away from you. Well, I, I understand, I understand. So now that things have turned out this way, what do you intend to do? I will have to go back to the city with Ella tomorrow morning. Now what will you be doing there? Bro, you're not going anywhere. You're staying right here with me in this palace. You have a lot to do. I don't understand. I will be needing you to handle some of our businesses. But you know I am not as educated as you. <laughs> Bro, I know you very well. You have all the qualities I need for this position. I mean, you're a first class graduate of economics, so I know what you can do. In here are files and documents pertaining to the companies I just referred to. Um, go through them and get back to me. You'll be the regional manager of Kabunda Holdings, which involves um, a financial institution, an oil company, and some other firms. I want you to go through those files and give me your feedback by morning. And um, in there is also a check for three million leons for you to get yourself started, mobilize yourself, change your wardrobe, and all of that. And in this bag, there's the key to a brand new car, the keys to your new. I just want you to be at your best. Hey, close your mouth before you swallow me. <laughs> Please just make the best out of it. I trust you and I know you make us all proud. We are brothers now, okay? So tomorrow morning, as soon as we drop off Ella at the airport, I'll take you to this company so I can introduce you to their staff as 
the new regional manager. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Bro. You have a good day. Take him to the apartment. May I take you to your apartment now? Just be careful, yes. Wait, excuse me. What sort of joke is this? Mama? Oh, wait, has everyone finally gone deaf and blind all of a sudden? What's going on? <laughs> Mama, give me... Mama? Ama? I am Azora, keeper of pure souls. Welcome. What am I doing here? Where is this place? Your soul has left your lifeless body, and that is why you are here. What? Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Are, are you trying to say I'm dead? Yes. No, I'm not. I can't be dead. A few minutes I was just with my sister and, and, and my mom and I, I was about to enter the house and I don't know what brought me here. You cannot access any door that is open. That's an indication that you're not welcome. 
What you saw a moment ago was just a replication of your last imagination before you were murdered. Murdered? By whom? Mm -hmm. Some questions are better left unanswered. Because knowing the answers might hurt you forever. You're here now, so forget about it. I can't forget about it. I need to know who is responsible for this because I was just inside the taxi and I was on the call with Sister Amma and, and I, 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 and I, 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 Let me show you how it happened. Driver. Yes, madam. Um, please, I wouldn't want to pass through the express because I heard that there's a serious traffic around there. Oh, madam, I'm just coming from express and the road is free. That was then, I'm talking about now. Please pass through Matters Avenue Street, okay? I wouldn't want to be out till 6 pm. Okay, madam. Thank you. Alright, you're welcome, madam. Something grievous. Something previous This is mysterious This is serious This is so serious Hey, what's happening? Oh, sorry Sorry, brother, please Sorry, sorry, sorry What up? Hey, just as you were described, fresh food, fresh chicken, fresh vegetables. You will be our wife tonight. Of course, of course. And we shall have you all through the night. Over my dead body. <laughs> That will be over your living body. Hmm? Inga, your face doesn't right. see you very well. Babe, you guys should take her to the booth and lock her there. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> be more easier if you had not resisted. Viper, you should not have shot her. That was not the mission. What should I have done? Huh? Didn't you see what she did was? Huh? She was escaping and I was left with no other choice than to shoot her. As you can see, you're now dead. No. No, I'm not home. I'm not supposed to be here. I need to go. I can know who is responsible for this. I need to bring him or her to justice. I'm not meant to be here. This is not home. Like I told you, Ella, some questions are better left unanswered. Likewise, some answers are better left unknown. No, not this one. Did you know I'm supposed to get married to the man of my dreams? The only one man I've ever loved? Did you know I'm supposed to be his princess? 
Do you know I'm supposed to be his queen in the future? And just in one day, everything is taken away from me and my family. I need to go back. I need to go back home now. This is not home. I can see you're desperate for answers. But I'm not going to stop you. Rather, I will aid you. But you must know one thing. Which is? If you return to the land of the living, you will be given 144 days to return here. Else, your soul will be lost forever. Lost souls end up in hell where they suffer for eternity. It's fine, no problem. Oh, my concern now is just to find that viper guy. I need to go. We are still at a point where you were married. How is that possible? Haven't they run away by now? Time is 48 times slower in the land of the dead. 144 days in the land of the living equals three days here. And a whole year is seven days. I shall grant you three wishes which will aid you on your mission. I don't need anything from you. I just need to go back. You will certainly need me. And when the time comes, mention my name and I shall be there. When you want to travel to any destination, set your mind to it. Think about it and run. Just like that? Just like that. Run. <laughs> Okay. I want you to set your mind to it. Set your mind to it now and run. Oh. Guys, this is not the case. We have to leave now. It's dangerous here. Let's go. Let's go. Your mission. Your mission was to rape and cripple her and not to kill her. So I do not have your balance, you idiots. What is it? You look so 
urge you. Uh, I'm fine. I just have uh, little issues with my MD. But don't worry, I can handle it. Liar! Why are you me what you've done? You see blood is jiggling in the water. I would have made you smile if I knew you were hurting and broken. It's alright if you say so. Because it's your office, I don't know. I can know how to go about it. Do you even I'm her mother, and these are her sisters. Sorry. Is there any problem? Not really. Not really. Please. What happened to her? And why are you with her driver's license? I mean, shut up. Stop acting like you don't know what happened. Shut up and stop pretending. I'm sorry to inform you. No. As she was shot multiple no. times no. and she died on the spot. No. To me, what's going on? Why is everyone? Why is Ella? <laughs> why, why is the emergency? Call? <laughs> Ella, Ella. Wait, please <laughs> calm down. Please. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Come on. <laughs> Ella is gone. <laughs> She was shot by hand robbers this morning. It is high time we abolished this so called tradition. I don't see the possibility of Aruna going back to spend three to four years in search of a wife. You know how difficult and hard it was for us the last time to convince him. to abide by that cake tradition. Let the gods do their worst. My son, please do not speak ill of the gods. Remember you are a crowned prince. Mm. The hair apparent to the throne and you must act like one. Please. Aruna. I did it. My father did it. My forefathers did it. In fact, six generations have practiced this tradition and you cannot be an exception. You must undergo this process because your life depends on it. My son, please listen to your father and I. You know we cannot mislead you. We have no choice in this matter rather than to follow the tradition. But you just said a while ago, Mother, that I'm the Crown Prince. I own three companies. Not to talk of my 45% share in father's own company. Why would I have all of these things and then go and live like a peasant all to get a wife? 
I'm not doing it. I will. This is not a question of being worthy or not. This is a tradition forced on us by our forefathers because of their mistakes. And we must abide by it. We must. Then abolish this tradition so everybody can have peace. I forbid you from speaking such abomination. I will not stop, Father, until that a cake tradition is abolished. Haruna, you dare raise your voice at me? My apologies, Father. Haruna, come back here. Let him go! Haruna! Let him go! Let him go! We will revisit this matter! What is this? What nonsense? Yeah, who is that? Come in. Oh, mom. Good evening, mom. Oh, good evening, my son. You should have sent for me instead of taking the pains climbing those giant staircases. Those giant steps, as you put it, are good for my body once in a while. Well, not when we have a gym in this palace. Mm, you win. <laughs> <laughs> my son. Yes, mom. I am here on behalf of your father and the entire kingdom. Mom, if you have come to tell me about that silly tradition, I'm not interested. I mean, this is the 21st century. Who, who believes in those things anymore? Don't sulk. I don't want you to feel sad. But I'm just trying to tell you that these things you think, they're not the way you think they are, Mom. Don't stop. These are superstitions. My son, I am not happy because you want to leave your father and I childless. I am not happy because I know you are digging your own grave by going against some higher powers. My son, you will die if you go against the practice that has been there for generations. I want you to think about it and do the needful. Go well, my son. Thank you, mother. May the, it shall be well with you. Thank you, mother. May the gods lead you. You're the son of your father. The spirit of Africa. The sun and the moon. Lead you home to protect you. A lion in the jungle He who has no fear Let the spirit lead you To your heart desire tradition needs to be abolished. It is not a tradition, my dear. It's a curse. A curse that was laid upon our forefathers, which they refused to resolve. Generations down the road, it's now affecting us. Welcome. You are welcome. Today, 
I hope my son, the prince, is responding to treatment. Oh yes, your highness. And now we speak. He's resting in his room. Good. And, and uh, here with me is uh, Miss Ama Kaba, sister to Let Ella Kaba. You are most welcome, my daughter. Thank you, my king. On behalf of myself and the people of Tambiama Kingdom, I express my deepest condolences. Thank you, my king. Thank you. Thank you. Tija, please make her comfortable. Yes. Bye-bye. We shall have a discussion around the funeral later. Thank you, my king. What are you? I told you I would give you that money when I get it. You were there. I lost my wallet now. Give me my money. Give me my money now. Hey, hey, hey. What's happening? I see I will pay her. Why are you pushing him and shoving him? I ate at her shop and at the point of payment, my, my, my wallet got missing. I couldn't find it again. I told her I would pay her and she's embarrassing me on the street. Sorry for the girl. Sis, um, how much is the money? 600. So just because of 600 years, you're embarrassing him. Here, take it. Leave, leave him alone. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. God bless you. <laughs> You're welcome. Don't you don't deserve some of that. Nonetheless, thank you. You're welcome. Um, do you live around here? Yes, I live just down the street here, two houses away. Oh, really? Yeah, and you? <laughs> I just live here. Whoa, for real? Yes. <laughs> I didn't know. So, perhaps I could come to your place and grab a cup of water. Obviously, you should. <laughs> but I must warn, I don't live in a fancy place. <laughs> I don't care about your house. I just need a cup of water. All right. What would I have done without her? She has been so nice and kind-hearted to me since we first met months ago. But I cannot continue to live like this. Depending on a woman for my daily needs, I have to do something about this before it becomes something else. This is 10,000 leons for your daily expenses. Again? Thank you so much. I don't know what I could have done without you. May God bless you for all you do for me. 
Amen. Amen. And may God bless you too by providing you with a very good job. Amen. Okay, I have to go now, but I'll come and check up on you during the weekend. Okay, thank you very much. God bless you. come back to me, but to no avail, I've had sleepless nights, I've even gone on hunger strikes, they all proved abortive, guess what, I found someone new, someone beautiful and nice and I know you will like her. I know your mind. But there's a price. And I am willing to pay that price. No, 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 no. No. See, this can't happen. This can't be. Um, Tijan, I have gone through your reports and it's very, very good. Keep it up. Why is he in such a happy mood? Nice. Tell my mom and dad that I'll be having a meeting with them in two hours. One more thing. Tell my personal Baba to come up to my room immediately. Now. He has not stepped out of this room in three months. And now this. What is he up to now? What is he up to? What is it again? Do you remember how you insulted us the last time? So what? I don't die again. How are So Fred no dinner you face, ain't he? Fred no dinner you body. You see three senior mean guys. You still they talk anyhow. Fred waiting. Today, we will show you how to respect the person. Go to hell.
I told you you will need my assistance when the time comes. I have granted one of your three wishes two months ago. It must go this after you. What happened? Mama, as I was coming back from the market, mm -hmm. three boys attacked me and tried to rape me. But something, it was as if something was protecting me. Something fought for me. The boy was pulled off me and crashed to the wall. The other two, the two tried to run, but something struck them to the ground. They screamed in pain as they ran off, Mama. Mama, they tried to rape me. I have decided to get married to Howard Natu. Who is Howard Natu? The younger sister to Lit Ella. The implication of getting married to a girl who is already in the know of your status as a prince? This decision is not up for negotiation. I have made up my mind. Except you want me to walk out there in the streets, walk up to any random girl, reveal myself to her and have her fall in love with me. The choice is yours. You can run. Uh, I told you. I told you you cannot run away from your shadow. No. Never. Uh, please, I'll pay you. I'll pay your balance. I'll balance you. I'm sorry. It is too late where the head has been cut off. Just a dream. A dream by this time. Anything wrong in dream by this time? No, madam. Just that the way you scream, it would have been heard as far as big markets. Get out. Madam, but I. I said out! Hello. Listen and listen attentively because I will not repeat myself. 
I summoned you here because of an issue of great importance to this kingdom. This issue requires your attentiveness and vigilance at all times. My son, the prince, has threatened to commit suicide. I'll spare you the details and how he tends to do it. But I can assure you that he meant every single word of what he said. I therefore need you to be vigilant, to be attentive, to sacrifice your time, your sleep, and everything you've got to prevent this abomination from happening. Henceforth, the prince is not allowed to leave the palace. He must be followed everywhere he goes. He must be guarded at all times in the palace, even in his sleep. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. Okay. Good. Drop that gun now or I'll shoot you. Now, any last word before your execution? You coward. Are you going to shoot an armless woman from the back? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I will. Why did you kill Miss Ella Kaba? Miss Ella Kaba. Who the hell was she? The young woman you murdered at Martin's Avenue three months ago. Oh, that. <laughs> I personally shot and killed her because she was stubborn and disrespectful. Who sent you? Hey, 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 Mrs. Officer. I still have the gun with me, remember? So you keep your voice down. You wouldn't want our night interrogation to end up prematurely, don't you? That is better. Well, I didn't see her face clearly because we met at night and it was very dark. But I can recall her last statement, which was, and I quote, No one takes what is rightfully mine and goes cut free. Question and answer is over. Now on your knee! Now, say your last prayer. As soon as possible, Mary gets to the entire royal family. Like, what has uh, Aruna done again? Aruna intends to commit suicide. Why? Why? It is said to be a suicide mission because of what is involved. Sister Ma, what is involved? Aruna is determined to marry you, Hawa. Or commit suicide. Good help. This? You? Uh, 
Why would I let you in if you told me you wanted the victory? I would have stayed away if you told me you wanted it badly. Oh, sister, 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 sister. There is an issue in this kingdom that requires your contributions. I am sure that Tijan may have told you about what is happening. Many generations ago, a curse was placed on the prince of this kingdom. And henceforth, no woman of this land shall have the privilege to give birth to a royal. And when it is time for the prince to get married, he must journey to a land far away from here, where he will live a normal life. He must not disclose his identity. He must take a job, and most importantly, take a wife. This shall continue until you, or generations to come, decide to make the wrong right again. And what happens if we fail to do that? Untimely death will befall this kingdom. And if the prince reveals his identity to get a favor, he shall die. What if he is under a love spell? No love spell, no potion or any poison, be it physical or spiritual, shall have any effect on the prince of Tambiama kingdom. You will get to hear the full story as time progresses. That was why Aruna hid his true identity from everyone, including late Ella. He revealed his true identity to her only when they had fallen in love with each other and was about to get married. My queen, what if someone had already fallen in love with a prince before discovering his true identity? Before they fall in love, she will not know that he is a prince and she must be a virgin. No exception. That was how I met my husband, the king. Something grievous. This is mysterious. This is serious. This explains why my love spells had no effect on him. But wait. Should I give up now? No. No way. I have come too far to give up at this crossroad. If I cannot have Aruna, then this little brat will definitely not have him. You see blood, Sorry, my prince. Okay. My prince, I'm sorry, that's the king's order. Oh, Karuna, it's okay. We can stay. I'll deal with you both later. It's okay. My apologies, my love. I can't accept your apology. Why? You are the crown prince of this kingdom. It's a taboo for you to apologize to your subject. You are not my subject. I am. You know what they say. It's a sign of weakness. What are you talking about? You're going to be my queen, a princess, my future queen. Why, why, why are you crying, my love? Did, did I say anything wrong? Listen, my 
love, my heartbeat, you are my everything. I want to be with you. I'm willing to go elsewhere away from this kingdom just to be with you. Even if it means stripping me of all of this and then making me an ordinary person away from this. Oh, Luna, please stop. Please, I beg you. Of what use is it to me if you are dead? You and Anna, I can't say yes to you. I'm sorry. I can't accept you. I don't love you. How I have to. I told you she loves him. If not because of that so-called curse you placed on that kingdom, she would have said yes to him. In point of correction, Ella. They brought that curse upon themselves. I know your intentions. I just wanted them out of your mouth. What do you intend to do? I, I, I intend to go to the underworld, retrieve the bottle and save the trap pure souls. I don't think that's a good idea. You might go there and remain there for eternity. That is if you fail. I know that. But that should be a talk for another day. Right now, I have to save my sister Hawa from that devilish armor. Please, Azura, I need to make another wish. What do you want? I intend to have the ability to touch and hold things. I will grant you the ability to hold and touch things. But you will not touch any living thing. I don't understand. You are a non-living being in the land of the living. Therefore, you cannot touch any animate object, be it humans, animals, or plants. Fine. Let me just have it. You have it. Just like that? Yes, just like that. You can go ahead and use it. All I have told you is nothing but the truth. Ella is out of the way. And now that little brat thinks you can take what rightfully belongs to me. Never. That will not happen in my lifetime. Aruna is mine. How do you intend to achieve that when you're no longer a virgin? Well, I overheard the king and the head of chiefs discussing on how to abolish the so-called tradition. So once that is done, Aruna will have no choice but to marry me. But Aruna is madly in love with your sister, Hawa. Oh, come on, it. That's not love. That's fantasy. And even if, that is why I'm here. I'm here to get her out of the way. You mean eliminate her? No. I don't want to have more blood on my hands. Look, you can do any other thing to her. Make her run mad. Make her hate Aruna. Or even give her an incurable disease. Anything, I don't care. Stress yourself now, daughter of the mirrors. I know exactly what to do. Stretch out your hands. that substance in that container on her bed and once she gets contact with the bed no one can save her from what will befall her okay but um mama mia will sleep on the same bed sleeping in the same bed makes it easier no one will know what is happening to her in the morning when the effects start manifesting. Okay. Ensure she makes contact with the bed 30 minutes after sprinkling it. If not, the mystical powers in the substance will disappear and render it useless. Thank you very much, Mommy. I shall be on my way now. My flight leaves in 45 minutes. Wait, under no circumstance, 
was the container touch the floor when she has not made contact with the bed. Guard it as if your leg depends on it. This is the worst mistake of your life. Who are you? I am Ella. The same person you and my evil sister murdered a few months ago. I see. So you refuse to rest in the land of the dead. But rather you choose to be trapped in the land of the living. Why? This is your final boss stop. You lie. You have no power over me. We shall see about that. This is no time for protocol. I need results. It has been over four months since Ella was murdered. And all our suspects are dead. We are back to zero. I beg to think different, sir. We are not back to zero, but back to zero, sir. How do you mean? We may have to sit down, sir. Mm -hmm. Detective Fils, what are all these numbers for? These are phone records from Viper's phone. Viper? Who is Viper? The gang leader that murdered Ella. Oh, okay. And of what use are all these numbers to us? Sir, I've had sleepless nights going through those numbers, but one particular one caught my attention. Oh, you mean this one that we circled here? Yes, sir. See, sir, this number called the disease four times at night, and the disease called the following day once. And the call lasted about three minutes on the 6th of April. And after that, the disease called that number consecutively for three months, but it was not reachable.
Are you assuming that the person called Viper prior to that meeting because he wants to give him the contract? Exactly, sir. After the contract has been executed, he called back to give the information that the contract has been executed. I think something may have gone wrong along the way. Because after that call, the number was unreachable since then. Yes, sir. Sir, late Ella was murdered on the 6th of April. After that, I went back to the cell operator requesting the cell record and customer's particular about that number. And the manager gave me this. Okay. Uh, it was registered on the 5th of April and has uh, only five calls registered. It was registered to Cab Hamaba of number 12 Abak Street. That is good news. I think we should dispatch our team to that vicinity immediately. That would be of no use, sir. How do you mean? Why? It was just a camouflage. He or she used that to cover up, to hide his or her identity. There is no a back street in this entire city. And that cab Hamaba was just a made up name. Really? This person used a fake name and address to purchase and register the same. And when I realized that both address and name were fake, I began to solve the puzzle. Does that name ring a bell? Yes, of course. She is a sister to the deceased Ella. And the address, her mother's address, the same address on Ella's driver's license. Hmm. It's beginning to add up now. So she knew that Viper was uh, getting close to finding her. That was why she gave us the location of Viper and his gangs using a private number. I was wondering, I was wondering how the person got my number. She knew Viper and his gang would put up a strong defense and would have no option but to wipe them out. You are right, Detective Phil. Thank you for your job well done. Thank you, sir. You are a spirit. You will not be able to comprehend the mystery behind it, even if I were to tell you. Please, it wasn't my fault. Your sister was too desperate and envious. It's too late for apologies now. No, please, no, no, please, please, don't. <laughs> what do you want? Name your price. Whatever you want, is it money? Gold, silver, diamond. I have it all. I will give you all. Please. Please. What do you think you can physically give an already dead? Can you give me back my life? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Oh, 
my sister, 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 my sister, sister. about it. If not for this, their so-called tradition, how I would have become the princess by now? And she's not the princess yet. So go and clear the dining table. Mama, please let me sleep. I'm tired. I'll whack your face. Go and clear. Go, go and clear the table. Mama, go and sleep. Mama, go and clear the table. Go and I think I spoke with him last night, but he wasn't happy. He asked me to leave. This morning I woke up to discover this by the door addressed to you. Please do not blame or punish anyone for my disappearance. It was an act I took solely by myself after careful planning. You thought I was joking when I said if I didn't marry Hawa, then it would be no one else. So let's put this so-called curse to test.
keeper of pure souls. Have mercy on us. My love, my heart beats, my prince, I'm ready to leave. I want to go and inform my parents that the prince of Tabiama Kingdom is coming to see them. Intentionally revealed himself to a girl, and now death awaits him. No, that can't be. I must go and see him. I will not recommend that. Why? He has a strong will to leave. He is alive, but barely. His soul is trapped between walls. And if by any chance he sees you, that will be the end of his existence on earth. So I should sit back and do nothing and watch him die? I didn't say that. I killed her. I killed her. Greetings, Your Highness. Hey, oh, Highness. They are in charge of late Ella's homicide case. DPO Maxwell and the dictative few. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you, Your Highness. Highness. Your Highness, we are here to arrest Miss Amakaba for the murder of Miss Ella. Kaba. Akira, she's her sister. Yes. She would have killed her sister. Yes. What are you talking about, Akira? I fell in love with Aruna in the city. I didn't know. I didn't know that Ella and Aruna knew each other way back. So. What are you talking about? And you came envious and jealous! Jealous! Yes. I didn't want to be second in place in their last life. No. No? <laughs> so, I, I hired Androbath. <laughs> Androbath! I hired Androbath. I told him. I told him to rape her. Triple her. Oh, we wish she was coming back from the palace. From the palace, Daddy, remember? Remember? Daddy. <laughs> but I don't know. 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 Something went wrong. Yes. 
Put him in trunk. And. We ended up killing her. And they killed her. <laughs> Next thing, Haruna said he was going to marry Hawa. He became very angry and more furious. I said, No. No. <laughs> No, 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 <laughs> no, no, it's what happened, it's what happened, so, I went to, I went to, I went to, I went to one spiritualist, Mama Mia, you know her, She gave me a soft dance. And she said, I should. Sprinkle. 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 Sprinkle it on her bed. Our bed. That day. That day. And I was close. I was close. She was getting closer. 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 Then. I don't know. It backfired. <laughs> deserve any forgiveness. You know what you deserve? Is to be tied on a stick and set a place. Please, take her out of here before she contaminates the entire kingdom. Miss Ava Kaba, you are under arrest for the murder of Miss Ella Kaba. You have the right to remain silent for whatever you say now will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, the state will provide you with one. Now, move it. I would have let you in if you told me you wanted to victory. I would have stayed away if you told me you wanted it badly. Oh, sister, sister. Why are you panting like this? Prince Aruna. What about Prince Aruna? Two detectives just brought him home and he's barely alive. Yes, alive. Yes, I am going to the underworld to bring back the lost souls and free the kingdom from your curse. <laughs> 
bringing back the lost souls will not bring back Aruna to life. Instead, it will break the curse. But uh, I cannot watch him die. Is there no other way? Something can be done about it. But I will have to discuss it with the king. That is if he summons me. Zora, keeper of pure souls, tamper justice with mercy. Come forth. I have questions. I summon you. Come forth. I am Azora, keeper of pure souls. Ask your questions, King Aruna Kabunda. Is there anything we can do to save my son's life? Yes. Someone will have to give up his life for him to leave. And that person must be a male. And he must do it without selfish reasons. The volunteer must pass through a test to ascertain his purity by touching your staff. And if the staff glows, he is the right person. And then he can proceed to Prince Aruna's room to lie beside him. Will the course be lifted after this? No. The prince will still have to find a wife without revealing his identity. He has limited time. How much time do we have? You have one day left. Else, his soul will be trapped between walls. You're the son of your father. The spirit of Africa. The sun and the moon. Lead you home to protect you. A lion in the jungle. Let you see. Bye bye. Summon all the youths at once. Hear my dear Majesty. This river will lead you to the underworld and to your exact destination. But this is a very small river. You are absolutely correct, Ella. It looks small, but it is mighty and deep. Really. The underworld occupies the largest landscape in the spirit realm. It has many kingdoms and many unforgiving rulers. Rivers are the gateway to the underworld. How will I know where the bottom is? Follow your heart and go after that which you see amongst them. Where you are going is called the Kingdom of Souls. The six souls were untimely dead for their existence. They will do whatever it takes to keep a soul. Make no mistakes and be very careful with your destiny. Why am I not thinking? You are a spirit being, Ella. You have no form or presence in the living world. 
How will I get in and out of the underworld? Do what you do best, Ella. Run. But be conscious of the fact that the fate of the kingdom of Tambiama and your sister's happiness lies in your success. What about Aruna? Is he going to die? If it is destined that Aruna and your sister will live a happy married life, then fate will make that happen. Concentrate not on that for now. I want you to put your mind on the dangerous mission that you are about to embark on. But remember, today is day 143. Exceed day 144 and your soul will be lost for eternity. Run, Ella! Run! Let me go. Those boys they are long gone. There's no way you can find them anywhere around. No, no, I, I have to get my bag. Everything is in that bag. My money, my everything is in that bag. I cannot survive in this town. Okay, okay. Okay, don't worry, I know what to do. I'll just take you to my place. You stay, then you think of a way out. Is that okay by you? Thank you. Oh, God bless you. You're welcome. You're welcome. My name is. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry about my manners. My name is Aruna. Aruna Kabunda. What a unique name. Well, don't worry. Can we go now? Are you, are you sure I cannot go after this? Like I said, there is no way you can find them. Just relax. Youths of Tambiama Kingdom. I want to thank every one of you for this courageous act of love that you've displayed today. Giving one's life for another to live is the ultimate sacrifice and greatest love that anyone can display. I want to salute your courage and love that you've displayed today. Let us proceed with the ritual. My name is Asan, the son of Litpa Asan. If I am chosen, 
I want my mother and siblings to be taken as royals in your kingdom. This is my request. My king, I am Omar, the son of Pa Demba Sisi. If I am chosen, I want my family to be given any business of their choice. Bye bye. Your Highness. My name is Tolokoroma, son of late Pasaudu. Your Highness, anything you have in your mind to do for my family when I'm away, do it for me, Your Highness. That's what I want to do for me. Thank you, Your Highness. This is our last hope. <laughs> I am Tijan Hussein. I do not know my parents because I was raised in an orphanage home. I had no family, my own, until I met the prince. He became my family. He took me as a brother and treated me as such. Before I met him, I was nobody. But today, I am a household name in Tadiyama Kingdom and beyond. All that I've ever dreamt of, I have achieved. But I tell you, life will be meaningless without my best friend. Life will be worthless without my prince. I believe our meeting was destined for a time like this. I believe meeting him was for a moment like this. Now, I am more than willing to lay down my life for my heart.
I am ready to die. My brother too. If I have chosen, I beg of you, build an orphanage in my name. My queen, please give this to the prince when he wakes up.
Did I go anywhere? What are you doing in my bed? Where are my parents? Tijal, is, is Hawa okay? I wonder you asked too many questions. Go. Your people are waiting for you. Please don't keep them waiting. Okay. Come, let's go together. Just go. Dear friend, don't worry about me. I am right behind you. You don't need to apologize. You did what you thought was right. I woke up and I saw Tijan on my bed. What's going on? My son, Tijani took your place. How? Tijani willingly sacrificed his life in order for you to live. My friend, my brother and my prince, fate brought us together for a time like this. You all do not blame yourself for what happened, because it was already written in the stars that a day like this will come. I lived a fulfilled life. I had more than I ever dreamt of, and I died a very happy man. Trading my life for yours was something I did willingly, with love and no regrets. You don't have the opportunity to live for both of us, and I believe you will make me proud. I wish you well till we meet again on the other side. I pray that you receive that which your heart desires most. Goodbye, my friend, my brother, and my prince.
Amazora, keeper of pure souls. Today is a day of joy. It is a day of joy because the bottle that contains the pure soul, which was sent to the world beyond centuries ago, has been retrieved. It took a courageous soul who was murdered but refused to leave the land of the living to achieve that. This soul risked everything to save this kingdom. Aruna, open that bottle so that this soul can find peace. the prince of Tambiama kingdom can now go ahead and marry any woman of his choice. Azura, hey. now I can go home a happy and fulfilled woman. Ella! My lord, I can hear your voice. Where are you? Please, let, let me see you, please. Aruna, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Can, can, can you make us see you, please? Azura, I want to make one last final wish. Go ahead, daughter of pure soul. I wish everyone present here can see me one very last time. Your request is granted. I wish I can stay with you, but it's not possible. Can I touch you? Mama, please. Show how I hear all the love you would have shown your three daughters. She's the only one you have now. How are you? Despite what Amma did, I still love her. She's my blood and I forgive her. Thank you. I pray you all forgive her too. Hawa, <laughs> you're living for me now. Love, respect, and obey Mama always. I will. I will. Aruna here is a good man. He's going to show you all the love you deserve. My king, my queen, please show Hawa the love you would have showed me. Love her just as you would have loved me and you've always loved me and to you my everlasting love Aruna I love you always I was never meant for you instead I was destined to create the path for you and my sister here Hawa wipe your tears instead celebrate the victory till we meet again I love you all goodbye I love you too, Ella. It is time to leave, daughter of pure soul. It is time. Ella, please. <laughs> If you told me you wanted to fit to you, I would have stayed away. If you told me you wanted it badly, oh sister, 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 sister.
Sister, my sister 